Okay, now it works. Good morning, people. This is Sam, South Carolina Happy Bees, and we're going to check this uh, 04 Duke Nursery as a Blue Queen. And we was in it before, don't remember when, but it's a double deep Nuke box now. Blue Queen. They have a little, it's probably water they got in there. A little water still in there. Like I say, you need to put water in a beehive when uh, honey flow starts. That way you've got at least 20% more bees. This is just water here, and they still got some, but they got it if they need it. If you put water in there, you got a bunch of bees that would be out doing bee stuff be doing bee stuff instead of getting water for the brood. Okay. Put the glasses on again. Okay. And once we put the bees in there, or the, the other double box, we uh, checkerboarded the frame. And this one here. Let me find that. Where's that? There we go. This one here has nectar in it. And it's in a deep hive. We're going to sit it here. This next one is a new frame that we put in there. This one here is a new frame that we put in there on 5-2. And that was probably the last time we come out here. And it has eggs in it. Both sides. And that's been in there since the fifth. Like I say, it has eggs on both sides. And that's what they do when they build their own foundation. They can put what they want where they want. So she's a blue queen, she's a couple years old, but she's still doing good. Some people believe I need to change my queen every year. I don't think so. This one here is filled up with brood. I don't see the queen. I don't see the queen, but they're in the the empty spots, there's nectar and uh, eggs and larvae. And there's some pollen in there and some nectar and the same thing on that side. Turn it back around, put it back in like it came out. You don't want nobody going into your house and tearing it apart and remodeling it. This one here is Red Blue Queen. She's right in the middle. I'd see her from here. But she's doing good. She's laying eggs. Got larvae in there. Put her back where she's supposed to be. See if I can do it this way. Well, she was right there, she is. Okay, put her back in the house. 
Don't want to stress out my girls. This is one they're just building on. Now I think what I'm going to do, I'll take her, put it here, put this one that they're building here, and it was put in there on the second too. That's brood. Okay. And this frame here, we're just going to put on the other side. It's got all the nectar in it. Okay. Take this down. Take this box. Put it over here. We have to change y'all just a little bit. It's a little bit different tripod. Ain't gonna work that way, Sam. Let's put it here then. This ain't working this this tripod is just a little bit different from what I'm used to pretty ground rat grass though okay there we go we're gonna get better in a minute See, we bring it in a little bit. Y'all first people see with me doing this with this camera. So I'm gonna learn. There we go. We will get better. This one here was put in on 5-2. And they haven't done nothing except walking on it. Down, 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 down. There we go. Haven't done much of anything on it. So we're going to set it out here. We're going to take this one. This one off. That has brood and larvae and pollen and nectar on that side. And same thing on that side. There we go. Straighten up frame. There we go. Okay, we're gonna put that back down in here. They're getting a little anxious. Ang ang okay, this one here, they're fast tuning on. Well, this might not be a good shot, but anyway, they're fast tuning on that, and they're building it out. This one was put in there on the, the second. No brood in that one. She's up at the top.
might put a well, don't eat it right now. I'm gonna give them some food. This one here has brood at the bottom. They hatched out, so they start to put nectar and pollen in the top. Oh, and it's got some larvae in it, so she has come down. Have some larvae. And some brood and some nectar on that one. Both sides. And larvae. Now, this one is like the other one. They haven't they haven't done anything with it. You guys turn it this way. I haven't done anything with it. So we're going to take that last frame that's got the brood and the larvae and we're going to slide it over to the side. Then we're going to take this one. We're going to put it here. We're going to take this one and slide over to the side. We're going to take this little fat one here. Put it there. And take this other one that they haven't worked on. And we're going to stick it right there. The temperature is okay to do this with. They don't have to keep the bees warm. Can't do this in the wintertime. And that's it. Now what we're going to do here. Give them some pollen here and stick it right there. Okay. I'm going to stick this back over here and mess y'all up again. But that's the other frame. Okay, sun's getting in the way again. Pick this up, the queen, and stick it right here. They have the pollen, so they'll be able to feed the bees. We're not going to put them any more food in here. There's enough nectar out there. Take this and put it here. Take their water, stick it here. Put this back in there. One beetle. Ah, okay. We'll have to do something with the beetles. One beetle, infestation. But that's them. Y'all enjoy. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me know what you think I need. Well, I don't need to. I know what I need to do. I don't even know if I'm going to put this one out. Y'all have a wonderful day. Give us a subscription. I mean, subscribe. Subscribe, leave us a comment, and give us a thumbs up. Y'all have a wonderful day.